Hey guys, um, I'm back again and I'm back with a booby update and uh, at first I was going to make this video about something else but then I was like I might as well go ahead and give you guys this update because it's been a while since I put one up um, so I'm just going to get right into it. So um, there hasn't been any major changes or anything like that. My boobs are starting I guess fluffing and they're starting to drop a little bit but my doctor said that's okay because they're not really at their right um, form right now so I'm guessing they're gonna look different after a year or whatever so anyways um I didn't I don't think I told you guys that um, I actually had two uh, surgeries done I had the booby um, surgery and then I had them to remove a keloid that I had formed on my belly button from my belly ring because I used to have a belly ring and um, it got infected or whatever and it didn't heal right so it turned into a keloid so they removed that but for some reason um, when they removed the stitches um, it's going to sound really gross but the scar opened up so when I went back, he just said that he was going to shoot it again with steroids or whatever so that, that it doesn't heal the way it healed when I had the belly ring in, but I feel like it's not, it's not doing anything. It's still the same and it's not doing anything and I don't want to go to the hospital because I don't want, I don't want them to stitch me because I've never been stitched awake, um, so... I'm scared but I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because me and my boyfriend want to have um well not right now because we're not stable but um when we do become stable which is in a few more months or whatever because he just got this job or whatever um then we want to try to first uh get married and then try for a baby because you know I'm gonna be 21 next next year and I don't want to wait till like I'm 30 years old to have a child that's not what I want to do and plus I have nothing else going for me I'm sorry I sound like a depressed person but I don't have anything else anything else going for me right now so it would make more sense to have somebody who you can love and who can love you back so anyways um back to the booby update so yeah um it just, it's just not healing right for me so I think I'm gonna have to go to the emergency room and see what they can do about it because I'm not gonna wait till January 7th when I go back to my appointment for him to say oh I'm gonna go ahead and stitch it up why wait then when you can do it now so anyways um back to the movie update so okay I have not been wearing a bra since November 13th well November 13th is my, was my surgery day and I did wear bras but it was surgical bras so when he gave me the okay to wear a bra then I was like okay but I wasn't even wearing one then so um anyways um so I went to Route 21 yesterday and I bought my first two bras because I had to throw out my other bras because I'm not that size anymore so yeah so this is the first one that I picked up and it kind of mimics the um, Victoria's Secret bra and it's a push-up bra so it has the cushion in the inside or whatever the little cushion right there and this is a 38C so yes I am 38C and it fits really good so anyways the only thing about it is the underwire kind of irritates the, the crease of my boob and I think that's just because you know I'm still healing or whatever and it just irritates it so yeah and this bra cost me $7.99 so it was $8 for this bra and that was at Rue 21 and plus I used the 25% off discount code that I found on Retail Me Not and that helped out a lot so anyways here's the second bra and it just looks like this it just has like um the light pink because that one is light pink and um white and black and this one is light pink and then it has like the you know heather it kind of look it kind of mimics the heather um gray but it's not heather gray it's like a tan so that's what this looks like and again this was $7.99 too so it was eight dollars and it's really comfortable it's, it's a push-up bra too but i haven't been wearing them because my boobs have been really irritated with the bra so yeah but um anyways 
or the important part my scars have really diminished like when I tell you they're kind of like almost gone you can't even see them now on the camera they might look like they're still there but they're not they're actually getting better than what they were and sorry I look like a clown right now I tried to put on some makeup and it didn't work out so I tried to smear it off but it was the glitter kind so you know it's hard to get that shit off so anyways um and just for a disclaimer I'm not a porn star stripper or any of that stuff I have a lot of respect for myself um but I just figured that you know it's a lot of women out there are wondering about the scars so I am about four weeks post-op and um so far my scars are completely gone and um, I've been using that other cream and if you looked in my pre previous video on my booby update I showed that cream that I got from my doctor or whatever so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my boobs and if I can I will put a tape over it when I edit the video but if I can't oh well then you're just gonna see nipples and I'm sorry to all my little young viewers that I have that subscribe to me I apologize please don't tell your mom I'm a whore because I'm not um, I just figured I show them, so, yeah, and I feel real uncomfortable doing this, but I got approval from my man, so it's okay. So anyways, um, this is what they look like, like this, and from the side, and from this side, and then when you pull them down, pull the shirt down or whatever, how the scar looks underneath you can barely see it over here this is where um I guess they have to sew so he told me it's gonna be a little hard so it's still a little hard ladies when you get your breast reduction you're gonna have this line right here but it'll start to fade away um then the line right here it's barely there um my crease the other side underneath it's just a scar but it's really going away and then on this side too it's still the same thing um yeah so they're starting to go away and my nipples are you know regular but like I told I don't know if I said it already but when your boobs start to heal more and they start to get their shape um, for anybody who's interested um, one probably will drop faster and i heard that people who get silicone implants and all that stuff they go through the same thing one will drop faster than the other one so don't worry about it it's completely fine um and another thing is if you're still having soreness from the time that you had surgery like underneath or around your rib cage or on, on your sides or your stomach then that's okay too it's just if you start to get a fever or anything like that then you have to call your surgeon because then you might have a infection and that might be the cause but me I haven't had any hot to touch things no fevers nothing um, so I'm fine so yeah that's my boobs and um, they look really good to me so I'm not even stressing it or whatever about freaking scars because I don't care about the scars so yeah so that's my um booby update and um, if you want to know my surgeon if you're in the Jacksonville area then you can click the link in my other video or I'll put it underneath this one when I get done editing it and um if you have any questions about the procedure or about the anesthesia or anything like that then um just leave a comment below and again i'm sorry for all my little young viewers or whatever but um i just needed to show you guys because when i first got them they looked horrible and if i can i'll insert a picture up at the top um of what the scars look like like earlier compared to now so yeah so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah sorry um, when this video goes up, I won't no longer be doing Mondays and Wednesday vlogs because I can't keep up with it. So to be more consistent, I will be uploading vlogs every Sunday instead of every 
you know, Monday and Wednesday because it doesn't work. So until I get me a better camera, then I'll do like the Monday, Wednesday and all that stuff like that. Until then, um, while I'm using my phone, I'll only do one vlog a week um, and that's going to be on Sunday. So I'll try to do, I'll try to record the whole week. And then by the time it comes to Sunday, then you'll have this big adventurous vlog if I go anywhere or do anything. So yeah. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs up. And if you have any questions again, please leave a comment and I will get back with you as soon as possible. I just sounded like one of those voicemail recordings. But anyways, bye.